Welcome back, everybody. This is part two of the Scarborough Public Housing Tour. Right now, you're looking at Highway 401. All right, to start things off, we're exploring the Glendower Circuit community. This is a TCHC neighborhood. Again, that stands for Toronto Community Housing Corporation. This neighborhood is a few hundred units with one mid-rise apartment building. There's nothing that really stands out about this community compared to others. It's a pretty standard public housing community as far as Toronto goes. This one is located at Birchmount and Finch in northern Scarborough. That siren is actually coming from someone's backyard. It's not an actual fire truck. Okay, now we're on Kingston Road, heading to Galloway Road. Now I was told there was lots of public housing on Galloway, however I found a lot of subsidized housing cooperatives and low rent townhouse units but I didn't find a lot of Toronto Community Housing Corporation neighborhoods. Now this is a perfect example. This community is called the Anne Marie Hill Housing Cooperative and this is directly off Galloway. It looks almost identical to most TCHC communities but it is a subsidized housing co-op. Now this community is directly across the street. This is called the Innisfree Housing Cooperative. This was actually a very nice housing cooperative from what I could see. This is the Mornell Court neighborhood of Toronto. 
and from what I understand, there's only one public housing building in this community, and that is 90 Mornell Court. The rest are just rental townhomes and apartment buildings. That building there is 90 Mornell Court. Now this was interesting. I've never seen a parking arrangement like this anywhere in the city. I don't know if it's legal or not, but it is certainly not enforced. And people seem to do it all the time. And here are some of the townhouses in Mornell Court. Now this is the Danzig TCHC community. This neighborhood is in Southern Scarborough and it is near Galloway and Kingston Road. If I recall correctly, this is off Morningside. fairly large public housing community and unfortunately it has a long history of gang violence. It was actually home to one of Toronto's largest mass shootings. There was a party where 23 people were shot and unfortunately two were killed and it was gang related. This neighborhood has quite a history of violent gang activity. <clears throat> this neighborhood has quite a history of violent gang activity.
Now here we are in the Malvern area of Scarborough. This is in the northern half of Scarborough near the intersection of Nielsen and Finch. And this is the Brennan Place Housing Cooperative. Now I was told that there was a plethora of TCHC housing in Malvern but I mostly found subsidized housing cooperatives and rental townhome communities. I did not find a lot of TCHC communities, unfortunately. Okay, now here we are in Empringham. This portion of Empringham is in fact Toronto Community Housing. While there is also a subsidized housing co-op portion of Empringham called the Rainbow Circle Housing Cooperative. Unfortunately, this neighborhood as well has seen its fair share of gang violence. In fact, the previous communities of Galloway have historically had street gang violence with this community.
This is another subsidized housing co-op in Malvern, and this is called the Ellen McGreal Housing Cooperative. Again, some of these communities are indistinguishable from Toronto community housing communities. That building you're looking at is 100 Wind Garden, and although it looks like a housing project, it is a privately owned low rental building. And these are the townhouses that surround it. This neighborhood is called Wind Garden, and it is also in Malvern. And to wrap things up, these are two townhouse communities off Wixon Trail, also in Malvern. I believe these are just normal rental townhomes, but they could be co-ops, I'm not sure. If you guys like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.